Hi there. I'm excited to welcome you all back as we uh, resume our weekly GCF Build Talk devotional at the start of a new school year. You know, life is a classroom. There's so much we can learn. And one of the important lessons we've been learning, and learning quickly and tragically, I'm afraid, is that so many people out there are hurting. When we pause for the summer break at the end of June, we were dealing with so much brokenness as a result of this ongoing pandemic. I'm afraid not much has changed since then. People continue to be sick and continue to hurt. Unemployment is rampant. Families remain distant. It is in this environment of heartaches that we start this ministry of connecting with you as we let the word of God dwell in us richly that we may admonish and counsel each other in this time of need. Our theme for the remainder of this year is caring for communities in crisis. We will explore biblical reminders and encouragement to get us through these tough times. Words are powerful. God's word is powerful. It is the potent instrument for change and healing across all dimensions of our life. My personal prayer is that you will join with me every Wednesday so we can get grounded in scripture as it leads us to Christ who died that we may have life, abundant in joy, and the promise of eternal salvation. Let's proceed with our first installment this week. And we find ourselves in Galatians chapter 6, verse 2, where we read, Carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. You may be asking, what is the law of Christ? Christ gives us the answer. In Mark chapter 12, verse 28 to 31, we hear in Jesus' own words, as he confronts the teacher's the religious teachers of that day. One of the teachers of the law came and heard them debating. Noticing that Jesus had give, given them a good answer, he asked him, of all the commandments, which is the most important? The most important one, answered Jesus, is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. The law of Christ begins in our love for God, a love that God really began for us. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 19, it says, we love because he first loved us. We're only able to love because God first authored that when he sent Jesus to die on the cross on our behalf. Now, Paul addresses the important question of how we fulfill the law of Christ. He says here, carry each other's burden. In order to do that, we need to have sympathy and empathy. In one of our family devotions, we talked about the difference between sympathy and empathy. Most of us have the capacity to feel sorry for someone who is going through a rough time in their life, but not many will have the courage to step into their world and share their sorrows and sufferings. That's what empathy is. In carrying each other's burdens, we need both expressions, to feel sorry for someone and to share in their struggles. We need the affirmation that we're there for each other, but we also need the practical application of such affirmation. That's the hard part, made even more difficult by the distance this pandemic has caused. Christ authored love and admonished us to love one another. He did so by carrying the burden of our sin on the cross. Let's carry the burden of struggles within the communities we're a part of. Big actions are not necessary. The most positive, positive impact we can often have is simply to be there for someone who needs a reminder that they're not alone. See you next week, God willing.